Part three. Part three. Here it is. Part three. Um, in the table below are values of f and f prime for certain arguments x. Okay, so that means like they plug in uh, zero to f of x, they get out two. That's what this means. They plug in one to f of x, they get out one. You plug in four to f of x, you get out negative two. Uh, f prime of 16, just as an example, that's equal to 4. That's how you use that. You don't have to write that part down. Um, you can if you want, though. So that's how you use the table. Um, and then, and then, what does it say? The function g is given by flip it here, that. Uh, okay, what is the value of this? Well, we already know that you can distribute the derivative operator. So this, let me actually, you should write this part too. If I take the derivative here as distributing, so I have uh, d dx, maybe I'll, I'll use the prime notation because it's quicker. f prime of x, right? d dx of f of x is f prime of x, plus d dx of g of x is g prime, that's a weird g, of x. And so, and then it, it's asking me to plug in 9. Okay, well, all right, so then this part asking me to plug in 9. Maybe I'll write that. So there we go. Uh, so that means I need to plug in 9 to this. Okay, then g prime of 9. Well, uh, first of all, this should be easy. You can figure it out from the table. Um, maybe pause it and see what f prime of 9 is. Try and think of it in your head. All right, so I'm going to do it. Uh, if we plug in 9 to f prime, we get out 3. That's simple enough. So this is 3. What? There we go. That would be 3. So that's where I got that from. And then g prime of 9. Ooh, that's a little bit, that's a little bit more weird. Uh, we have g, though. We have g. G, g. This is given. Now, how are we supposed to find the derivative for this? Well, remember, the derivative is simply the slope of the tangent line. So if I graph this, 1, 2, 3, over 1, this slope is 3 everywhere. The slope is 3 everywhere. So, so that means uh, g prime of x is just 3. Okay? g prime is 3. All right, uh, that's nice. If I plug in a 9, well, g prime of 9 is still 3, because it's saying the slope is 3 for any x value. So this part here is uh, 3. So we get 6. Isn't that fantastic? That was easy. Uh, yeah, you should write that stuff, that stuff down, maybe. Uh, so there we go. Hopefully this is making sense. If not, pause it and ask a question. All right, let me talk about this. Uh, it says, in the table below are values of f, f prime, g, and g prime when x equals negative 1. So f of negative 1 equals 4. f prime of negative 1 equals negative 4. g of negative 1 equals 2. It's just a table organizing this information. Uh, what is the value of this? I'm going to rewrite this. Uh, remember, this means uh, take the derivative and then plug in x equals negative 1. Um, I'll, well, you don't have to write that part. That was on the next, other one. means after you have the derivative, plug in 9. Okay, so we're doing that same idea. Uh, I think you should pause this and try it on your own and see if you get it right. Because I'm going to do it right now. First, I can distribute the derivative operator. Remember, the constants, they just go in front of the derivative opera operator. That was in the first video. Uh, and I just get 3f prime of x plus 2g prime of x. And then now I plug in the negative 1. Well, 3 times f prime of negative 1. This one's an easy one. 2g prime of negative 1. And then I just use my table. 3 times whatever this is. f prime of negative 1 equals negative 4. So that's negative 12. Nice. Plus
plus 2 times, well, g prime of negative 1 equals 1. Okay. Equals 1. So plus 2 equals negative 10. Well, that's nice. That's easy. Maybe one more example. Again, you should be pausing this and trying it on your own. See if you see if you get the right answers. All right, this is going to be a really, really quick one. I'm not going to write much. This is pretty much just so you can practice. So make sure you pause it and try it out right now. This is a kind of, I think, a little bit easier. Um, so pause it and then try it. So you take the derivative by distributing the derivative operator, and then you plug in 2. Okay, f prime of 2, f prime of 2 is negative 1. Uh, g prime of 2 is 3. So I get positive 2. Hopefully that's what you got. Uh, this is easy, hopefully, now. Um, yeah, ask me questions. You should be trying these as you go. Make sure you have the stuff that I wrote down. Make sure you have that stuff written down. Um, that's it. That's it. There we go.